I'm Frank with Lomas Supply Co. And this is this truck we just built. This thing is uh, fully equipped with but just everything you can do to a truck, bolt-on wise. There's no cradle, there's no crazy tuning done, but it's mostly bolt-on stuff and paintwork. Here's my five things I think you should do as a dealer truck owner to your pickup truck. Ready? And let's go. The first things first, I mean absolute first, if you have a diesel truck, that means you have a diesel motor, right? What are diesel motors for? They're for towing. Those things, when you're towing them, depending on what you're hauling, may sag, squat, or may bend your leaf springs or axles. Airbags are like the best thing you can do for your truck ever. Right here is a wireless remote. This controls the pressures in the airlift 7500 XL system that we have installed in this truck. And uh, right now they're down. Uh, but basically from a flip of your switch, when you're hauling, you can be like, Oh, dude, it's riding a little too tight. I don't need all this pressure in these bags. I'm gonna lower the pressure down a little bit since there's nothing, there's no load, right? When you're hauling and you have a huge load in the truck, you can just click this button a few times, click it up there, and now your truck won't be sagging anymore because now you have air pressure in the back of your truck, holding your suspension, your axles, your leaf springs, your load together. Very, very cool. The first mod you should do your truck, no matter what, if you haul any sort of thing. All right, so the second mod, in my opinion, if you're using a pickup truck, you're probably taking it on a job site or taking it off-road to the mountains, camping, whatever you're doing. The stock tires that come on your new truck or your truck on Facebook, whatever you're buying, are probably not the best. I recommend you get a brand new set of tires for your vehicle and you get a mud train or all train, depending on whatever you're doing, um, you kind of tailor towards that. I mean, I wouldn't recommend mud trains unless you're going for a show truck. All trains do great in the mud, just fine. If you're taking a, uh, if you're taking a three quarter of one ton truck into the mud, you're not gonna do well anyways. So you might as well just get an all terrain so you can get kind of best of both worlds. So you don't need a big set of wheels and tires. It does look really cool, it is fancy, but the second, like before wheels and tires, no matter what, you just have a good tire in your truck in general. So if your truck doesn't come factory with a spray-in or drop in bed liner, that is a huge thing. It may be even more important than your tires because having protection for your bed, if you use your truck like kids, you should be, um, is a crucial portion of your ownership for your vehicle. If you decide to throw hammers and throw sledgehammers and rocks and whatever you're going to use your truck for without protection like a tough bed liner like you drop your truck off and they spray it for you if you don't have these things or a drop in your truck will get damaged if you raw aluminum in the back and you'll dent it very easily i prefer spray-ins i've had drop-ins plenty of them and stuff in mud and rocks get stuck in between the cracks and i don't recommend it just these are really really nice they hold up very well light and they're durable so spray-in or drop in bed liners is a must on your truck Okay, so states may vary. Um, I'm not liable for what you guys do and how legal it is, but my recommendation is window tint. Weird enough, right? So window tint your truck, you, there's le there's levels of, of tint you can do, right? This is a little more of a, a wild take on tint. This is 5% on the sides and 35 on the windshield. Um, so what you can see is, what tint does is there's there's two things. One, protects your car from the UV rays, it blocks them out, so that means your leather, your dash, your seats, they're not gonna get affected as much from UV rays as it would if there's no tint in at all. Number two is privacy and heat. Um, well, I guess this does three things. You can blame the heat all you want and say it keeps your car cooler, which it actually does, but it's privacy. People can't see who you are. I recommend at least 20% on the windshield or match the back. 5% is a little dark. I mean, you gotta be about the tint game for this. So the fifth and final thing is uh, suspension and or shocks for your truck. This pertains for mostly uh, more used trucks because you're at 50, 60,000 miles, you bought it on Facebook, the truck's probably gonna need shocks anyways. You throw a set of Fox shocks in there, make your ride a little bit softer. The sixth and final thing, I know it's a little one extra since uh, this was only five things, but the sixth thing I would do to my diesel truck is I would give it away. Wait, what? So if you wanna win this truck, go watch some more uh, Own Boss Supply Co's videos and learn how to get entered because this thing could be yours for the price of a freaking t-shirt, not just a truck, a gooseneck and skid steer and $30,000 of cash or $125,000 of cash is cash option, baby. This is a 23. F-250 that's brand new, fully built, and those are just a few things that we did to this truck. Good luck guys, if you have any comments, throw it down below. Concerns, say it, like this video, subscribe to us, and say what up.